So one challenge with this show is that it's very technical. Um, and there's a lot of things going on at once with uh, from dances, set, and lights. Uh, and it's been a challenge in rehearsals to try and you know, put all of these different things together. But I think that it has turned out very nicely and I think people are really going to enjoy it. Miss Wilde's a very passionate director. She's really good at her job. She's really connected with every student. And she's an amazing director of The Little Mermaid and an amazing director, period. Miss Wilde is very, 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 very outgoing and charismatic. She just brings it all. <laughs> I can't smile more than I, I can. Meg is a really cool and collected choreographer. She's really chill and she has a lot of patience working with all of us on the choreography. She's a really enthusiastic, hardworking person and she's very professional. We're glad that we could have her come and choreograph this show. Not only is Miss Garrett an amazing teacher, but she's an amazing director too, and she pushes everyone to work really hard. And a lot of the songs for the musical are really hard this year, so um, we really couldn't have done it without her. Music for The Little Mermaid is definitely not easy. Um, there's a lot of iconic songs, but they're actually harder than you would expect. This musical is a huge time commitment. Uh, we're here five days a week, sometimes on weekends. Sometimes we're here till 10. A difficulty that we have with this musical is because these characters are so over the top that you have to find that line between cringy and your character. Pump adorable, and all thanks to Dinglehopper. So, what I think the hardest part of the re rehearsal process is, is that we have so many high school students that uh, don't focus very well. But I think that we've definitely tried to become better at that recently, and we all need to focus. And I think that's something that it's it's hard for us to do, but it's something that we're definitely improving at. This might be the most tech-heavy show Glen Allen's ever done. Uh, between the sets, the lights, the sound cues, costumes, puppets, there's a lot of visual effects that go into creating an underwater world. What sets this musical apart from others that we've done is, uh, not that the others were hard, but this one is difficult as well. And the characters that we need to portray are quite caricatures of different parts of human personality, and the songs are pretty difficult to sing. One thing that sets aside this musical from others is probably the amount of time and practice that we've put into it since January. We've just been going at it. This resembles a Broadway show by far more than any other shows. If you've been to a Glen Allen show before, uh, you'll notice that after bows, we gesture outward. Um, we're actually not gesturing at the audience. We love you guys. We're gesturing toward the booth behind you. That's where the most dedicated people in our department are. Lindsay Pitts runs lights for every show, Mr. Glen Allen, and any other event in the auditorium. She's extremely hardworking, focused, and super underappreciated. We love you, Lindsay. Let's see the show! show. <laughs>